Hey guys, how y'all doing? Uh, Louis Castro here, uh, West Side Stories uh, and Life of a Felon. Uh, we're doing uh, two videos in one. In one. Uh, we're trying to be efficient here. Uh, anyway, my name is Louis Castro. Uh, this is my sixth video. Thank y'all for uh, visiting this site. And if you're returning, thanks for watching. <clears throat> I have a bachelor's in criminology, bachelor's in drug addiction, master's in penology, uh, six, six escapes, uh, 15 years incarceration combined, uh, adult and juvenile facilities. <clears throat> I have a bachelor's in legal studies, master's in employment, uh, a master's of business business administration, uh, and a master in family. Uh, family, what I mean by that is having a family, uh, you know, the family unit, uh, husband, wife, kids. <clears throat> so I'm here. Um, I was thinking today uh, what was going to be my next story. So I pretty much, whatever comes to mind, I think that's the sign, that's the hint. You know, and I let it simmer and I kind of think about it throughout the day see what else uh, simmers and comes up so I think I want to talk about angels and demons uh, in, in prison that I've seen uh, I guess I'll start <clears throat> so when I was in prison of course I was uh, a Christian you know I was really involved in the word um, so um, uh, this was in the year uh, I believe 2000 I was in Willisey unit up in West Texas uh, I think we're given these abilities because when you're incarcerated, you know, you're, you're free of all these uh, elements of the world, you know, drugs, alcohol, sex, even. Uh, so you're in there, you're eating good. Well, I, I say good, but you're eating healthy. You know, prison food is not good, but, but it's pretty much clean. Uh, so you're eating good. Um, you're working out, you're exercising. So you're pretty much holy, man. You know, you're, 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 you're holy, I would say. And especially if you're in the word, you know, you're, you're you know, you got that access and connection with God, you know. So anyway, <clears throat> uh, I remember I was asleep and I woke up. I was in my cell. I was in my top bunk. So uh, basically, I just opened my eyes. I opened my eyes and I looked out through the cell window. And in the day room, I just seen for that second, you know, that window, literally window, <clears throat> that short little window in time and space. A tall white angel, very tall, white, bright angel. So I, w I wasn't scared, or I just you know freaked out like, wow, that's that's amazing. Uh, so the basic that, that was the only angel I seen. Uh, the demons that I've seen, um, it's kind of similar. Uh, I would get up and use the restroom at nights, you know, and I would always see these little black spirits. Black, they're just black. They're very pitch black, dark. They have no form or shape. Uh, I would see those when I first got locked up, you know. Another time, similar to the angel, uh, looked out my window and I looked down the run, the row, and I'd seen this black demon just like <laughs> uh, kneeling down, kind of like sitting down, you know, in a fetal position uh, some, out, outside of somebody's uh, cell door. And I said, wow, that's, that was amazing. So, I mean, I, 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 I mean, I see that as a gift, you know. That God opens up your eyes because He does. He chooses. There's a there's a story in the Bible that I I, I should have brought my Bible, but there's a scripture where God opened up the eyes, and He was able to see all these angels. Uh, I think it's in the Book of Kings. <clears throat> Anyhow, another interesting story. Um, uh, there was this book. I was in the Christian library at this time. Uh, checked out this book. It's called um, "He Came to Set the Captives Free" by Linda Brown. So I'm with my Christian brothers, man, this uh, black Christian brother, man. He, he looked at the cover and he said, man, don't read that book, man. It was a witch. I think it was a witch. And there's like a pentagram. That was the cover of the book. But supposedly it was a Christian book. He told me, man, don't read that book, man. I have a bad feeling about that book. I said, oh, man, I, let me check it out. I'll check it out, man, see what it's about. And it was really an interesting book, man. It talks about uh, uh, the five main witches in America. And the devil, how they meet with the devil somewhere in California. And how this lady actually seen, a, she sat down with the an angel. But I think it was the devil himself. Anyhow, the main point of this story is that when I read that book, it's very interesting because when I read that book, I fell asleep. Uh, I was asleep one night. And I think, I, I guess it was a vision. 
uh, I know it wasn't a dream, it was like a vision. And, uh, or I think my spiritual eye seen the demon. His head was like this, for example, and my window outside of my cell, like this big head, like the size of a basketball. Okay, I saw that and I told him, you know, uh, I guess a lot of people won't believe that, but interesting thing about that book is that somebody else read that book at another part of the unit, another Christian brother, we were talking about it, uh, I think a couple of months later, <clears throat> he read that book and he told me the same thing, same thing, the demon was like this on the side of his uh, window. I said, wow, there's something about that book. I don't know, man, if it's good or bad, but here's the really interesting part about that is that years later, I don't know, uh, I think I had gotten out of prison and went back. I don't remember, but it was years later at another unit. We talked about that book. I forgot the name of the guy, the inmate, uh, but he told me the same thing about that book, man. He said the same thing, that demon was like this at his window, like this, uh, kind of a diagonal big head black by reading that book uh he came to set the captives free by linda brown <clears throat> so uh yeah that's that's an interesting story you know people don't talk about that you know the spiritual world because it is a spiritual world you know we like the bible says we we uh we do not fight against flesh and blood but against principalities against power against rulers and darkness of this world so so yeah they, that's that's what's going on too behind the scenes